We're here at a Habitat for Humanity project in Elwood, Illinois. We give back on an annual basis. Today I think we have about 20 folks out and working on a project. As you can see, it's coming along pretty well. This is where our plant teams live. It's where we work and we give back to the local community and people in need. We try to be good neighbors. J Power USA. We got our start doing acquisitions. I've acquired nine of our sites of, a, of the 11, and then two of them we've built. We built one back in 2010, and then just recently have finished the build of Jackson Generation. My name is Paul Peterson, president and CEO of J Power USA. Jackson Generation is in the Chicago area, which is a population above 9 million people and can serve 1.2 million homes in the Chicago area. My name is Kevin Miller, currently the Vice President of Asset Management Operations and Construction. The project was hatched in 2015. We start off with looking at the competitors as well as Mitsubishi Power. Across our 11 facilities, we're mostly a different OEM, but when we were looking at what we would want to do in the 2020s, we were looking for the next generation technology. When it came down to it, we ended up trusting the Mitsubishi equipment that much more. The real movement towards Mitsubishi Power was the new JAC units. My name is Scott Fries, and I'm the plant manager here at Jackson Generation. One of the, I think, benefits we have with Mitsubishi Power with the with the J machines, you know, it's a new technology, uh, serial number one and two up in North America. It's kind of a big deal, at least to me it is. I think it's neat to be the front runner. Anytime you're out on serial number one or two, you're taking a risk. They have a, a, a good test facility in uh, Takasago, Japan. So I did go visit the T-Point site and saw what they were doing. Full review of the engineering process, the manufacturing process, and then the validation process. So they were running that JAC unit and had over 8,000 hours, so over a year's worth of time operating the facility. So that gave us a lot of comfort that when we asked to, for, for it to operate, does it have some issues? A lot of those early issues have already been found by the Mitsubishi engineering team. The performance of these machines is phenomenal. Fantastic heat rate, you know, one of the market leaders. And so we're at the forefront of, of gas turbine performance. So that should provide a lot of longevity for the site. So all of those were attractive to us when it came down to picking a partner. I want to stress that it really was. It was choosing a partner that works together. My name is Tommy Carl. I'm a sales director with Mitsubishi Power on the service sales side. I came in during the construction phase. That's when I met the team here at J Power and we started building a relationship then we came out and we did a long-term service agreement. So they signed anywhere from it's gonna be 15 to 20 years and it's exciting. They trust us from the CEO level to the plant manager level, we're connected. This is a turnkey facility where we're covering the steam turbine, the gas turbine, and the generator. We have the whole train. So any issues that happen here at J Power, they come to Mitsubishi Power with. One of the things that we put down on a piece of paper is we were going to have open, honest, brutal conversations. And when we sat down and we had a problem, everybody came willing to have those conversations, even on the hard topics. Sometimes we agree to disagree and that's okay. We work to a resolution together. Mitsubishi Power was really good to work with because even when we ran into problems, we'd get a phone call and say, hey, what can we do to, to help work through the situation? In March 2020, everything's closing down. At that point, it was still not really solid in anybody's mind what COVID was and what the impact was and what the impact of the project was gonna be in the long run. I sat at my desk and literally had my head on my desk wondering how the hell we were gonna get through this and, and had people coming in going, okay, let's talk. Let's, let's figure out how we're gonna do this. And it really took all parties to sit down and say, how do we proceed? To be able to have a huge staff from Mitsubishi Power and a lot of guys from Japan that were here, understanding how those interfaces needed to be in order to make the project go forward really made it successful. And nobody wavered. Everybody was committed to getting this project. When you go through a hard situation like that and your partner 
goes out and says, we can get this done and we can work on it. It makes it easier to continue with that trust. You could not have done that without the group of people and the partnerships that you have and the trust and the vision and the goals being met to get to that point. When you're with Mitsubishi Power, when you sign one of these agreements, you become part of the Mitsubishi Power family. We're monitoring your site 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You have our engineering support, our sales support, our operations support. We're here in it with you to build the relationship and keep things going. Looking into the future, right? Once we end up with a hydrogen backbone where we can supply power plants, we could burn 30% hydrogen in these units without any major modifications. From our standpoint, we think that units like this will be essential to getting the 2050 goals of wanting to get, become completely carbon neutral by that time. The ability to be able to move in that direction and extend the lifetime of the operation of these units really helped in that long-term approach. You don't make an investment like this to turn it off in 20 years. You're making an investment for the long term. And part of that investment is having a partner who's willing to walk down that road with you and help you out.